This is Jimmy Akihu with Frankie Jordy, former two-time world title challenger. How you doing, Frankie? Pretty good, doing real good. Good, this is oh, my buddy. Good. I've known him for a long time. Frankie, I was gonna ask you, since you had so many great fights with great fighters, who's the best fighter that you fought in pro amateurs? Oh, that's so hard. Uh, I fought some good fights. I, Albert Davila is one of them, for Who? sure. Albert Davila. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Great fight. There was, uh, you know, I can tell you who gave me the worst beating. Who's that? There Rolando goes Navarrete. Michael Navarrete? R Rolando. Rolando Navarrete. No, Rolando, Navarrete. No, Rolando Navarrete. That's the Filipino guy. Yeah. Yes. Just, yeah, he, he knocked out Boza Edwards for the world title yes. after he fought me. Yeah. But when I fought him, it was at the end of my first career. Gotcha. I had um, retired after the fight because I was getting loaded, man. I was, I was so I was into drugs and alcohol. I got I you. was so drunk a week before the fight. Oh, but I went to discipline, and he was a junior lightweight. I'm a bantamweight. Yeah. I went up in weight, and uh, I went to distance. Um, if there's anything I'm proud about in that fight was a newspaper article the next day, and the Hawaii says, Courage is spelled D U A R T E. Oh, that's And cool. it looked it looked like similar to uh, the the beating that Rocky Balboa took from Clubber Lang in the <laughs> first fight. <laughs> oh man! Oh damn! And, and overall, who do you think was the best fighter that you ever fought? Oh jeez, man, that, that's so hard. That Davila's, I could only say one. You know, I I don't have one. Yeah. Give me I mean, Davila, uh, uh, Bernardo Panango was was an excellent boxer. I think you uh, beat him though. Yeah, yeah. You should be champion. But, but he was he was a hard guy to fight. He was yeah. he was a clever boxer. Gotcha. But uh, I, I can't pick a face. I would say Davila and Bernardo Panango are two of them. I fought Richard Sandoval. Gotcha. Lost a split decision. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. So obviously you dropped best, him too. No, no. You knocked him down. Oh, Pernango, per I think. Sandoval. Didn't you no, knock no, Sandoval? I didn't knock him down. You no. didn't? Oh, okay. No, no. But, but we could say I did. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Maybe that's not true. All right, my brother. Yeah. Thank you to my, my good friend, Frankie Duarte. The pleasure, my friend. Thank All you, brother. Thank you. Thank you, man. All right. Hello, this is Jimmy Akio, and hope you liked that video. Uh, Frankie Duarte, I've known for a very long time. Actually, he used to work at a barbershop on Washington called Phil's Barbershop, uh, a very nice place on Washington. I used to go there all the time. And Phil Barba, who was the uh, was the main guy who that was his business, uh, he had all he had in his place. It was like the old school uh, barbershop. He had boxing, boxing magazines and Playboys. So <laughs> it was a very popular place in, uh, among the locals there. And we, I used to go there all the time. Frankie was there too, cutting hair. So I get my hair cut by Frankie or Phil, and there's a good friend of mine for a long time. Uh, anyways, there's got a good documentary on Frankie on YouTube too. You can check that one out as well. Uh, just look up Frankie Duarte and you'll see some uh, videos of him. Check them out. Uh, so thanks a lot to Frankie Duarte, and please like, subscribe, and share my videos. And I'll see you guys on my next video. See you. Thank you.